We want to bring in reporter Megan Schiller now from CBS News Pittsburgh for more on that collapse. Megan, you're on the scene. You've been there for a while. Give us a sense of how things have developed and where we are right now. We are here in Frick Park, and this is the largest park in Pittsburgh. It spans some 650 acres. Search and rescue crews are now here on scene. Take a look behind me. I'm right up against the very edge of where this bridge gave way. If you look down below, that is down and now a ravine. It's right over top of a creek. There's a dog park down below. This is a bridge that was about 150 feet or so up above a trail. A very busy, popular trail for runners and dog walkers. And as you mentioned, it happened around 7 this morning. Right now, those search and rescue crews are down there to make sure that there was no one down beneath the bridge when this collapse happened. And they're using some heat sensing drones at this hour. Hour. They say there is no reason to believe that anyone is trapped, but they just want to make sure and they have now gained access to the bridge. And we can't tell you 10 people were hurt this morning in some way. Four people are now at local hospitals, but they are expected to be OK. The first responder is telling us it's a true miracle that no one died in this collapse this morning. I know it certainly was. But what, what part did the weather and certainly timing play in this collapse regarding the number of people who were hurt? First responders say as for the weather, they're busy trying to talk to structural engineers. And we did have a 30 degree, nearly 30 degree swing in temperatures overnight. And so now they're going to begin the process of trying to figure out did that impact the structural deficiencies of the bridge. As for the timing, the fact that it happened just before seven this morning, this bridge behind me that usually is bumper to bumper traffic in and out of Frick Park. Thankfully, only had about five vehicles on it, including mm. a truck and a Port Authority bus, which is our public transportation here in Pittsburgh. And that bus, thankfully, not loaded with people, just a handful of people, including the driver. And some of them are, are the ones that were taken to local hospitals this morning. So fortunate. But you mentioned how many people obviously often use that bridge. And back in 2018, Route 30 had a collapse of a bridge as well. Have you gotten a sense already of the community response to what happened today? People in Pittsburgh, people born and raised in Pittsburgh like myself are posting on social media saying that they're they're shaken up. You can't really get anywhere around Pittsburgh without getting on a bridge and a lot of people getting this news as they sat in traffic on bridges. Uh, of course, as we all know, President Biden should be arriving here any moment. He's coming to this site, we're told by sources, to look at this bridge collapse. This is a bridge that was listed in poor condition. Many of these bridges are said to have need about $1.5 million in in renovations and, and to be fixed. So a lot of Pittsburgh, Pittsburghers today and community members saying that they hope that Pittsburgh and other cities that have these bridges and things such as that get the money and the funding that they need because they don't want to see this happen anymore. And what you had mentioned with Route 30, that was a landslide that was closed for years. And Pittsburghers say that they, they don't want to keep seeing this happening. Megan Schiller from CBS News Pittsburgh, we thank you for the report.